All right. Real quick, so uh, I just want to want to put a thought across your bow real quick. Got a question the other day from my good friend Andres Andres Aguirre, who I'm looking forward to training with again this June at the uh, No Cal at the sorry SoCal No Gi Freak Summit. Say that five times fast. Wow, uh, June fifth through the eighth. If you're interested, I'd love to see more people down there. But uh, so his question was, I do a lot of core, but when I squat, I still have lower back pain. So. I'm going to answer this the, the way I should as a guy who's not licensed or qualified to really say much about pain, and I'm sorry, but the answer is uh, go see somebody who's qualified to, to, to talk about pain. Here's, here's, here's the thing with pain. Um, what's up, Ronnie? So pain, you know, if we're talking like like you feel like you're injured, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, DOMS is a thing, but if, you're, but if you feel like you're injured, like don't, don't post in, in, in Facebook groups. Don't ask your personal trainer. Ask somebody who is a licensed pain specialist or who knows about pain management. You know, uh, I, I mean, I posted something on my on my personal Facebook that my buddy Tony posted that was basically, uh, you know, the hey, what's up, Jamie? That was basically the, uh, you know, it was, it was the, uh, the I think it's like 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 the Drake meme or something. But it's basically, you know, on one side it was, you know, the, the first panel was, you know, visiting a, you know, asking a doctor about pain, and the second panel was asking a group of people on Facebook who you know, constantly out tough each other and can only hold themselves together with tape. You know, I mean, that's, that's kind of what we do. And we really need to stop doing that. Now, here's the flip side about pain. So this is why, this is why I tell everybody to like do some kind of movement or mobility practice. There's, there's a thing, uh, there's a thing that, that happens when you're doing, you know, when you start doing mobility, when you start doing cars, joint work uh, that we call body mapping. So, and it's, it's pretty much what it sounds like. You know, you're, you're literally kind of mapping out how you feel when you move. So you're learning how it feels when you move. That's a super valuable tool because as soon as you really understand like what's just kind of your body and what's really pain, then you can kind of start saying, okay, well, yeah, I did squats and my lower back hurts, but it's not, it's not pain. I'm just maybe sore from exercising versus, oh, well, that, doesn't feel awesome. So that's all I got to say for today. What's up, Wes? Um, I'll see you guys soon, I hope. Tell Ian to send me my uh, my, my, my big red spats too. Um, but that's what I got. So two things. First of all, if you have pain, don't, you know, go see a professional. And hopefully I'll be a professional one day. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do PT school or massage school one of these days, so I'm licensed. Two, do mobility so, you, so that you have good body mapping, good body mapping practice. You understand what's going on and you understand what's what the difference between pain like the levels of pain and what's just soreness yes if you're not assessing you're just guessing thank you thank you see man, after my own heart right there so uh that's what i got for now that is that is that's your thought across the bow for today and um cheers i'm gonna go eat